welcome back and we continue to sort this problem out here so the first thing uh, we need to do is we need to find a way to easily retrieve uh, a user's data using a user ID so let's go to classes and the database class so right here we have these functions like read and write so let me just plagiarize the read uh, function so I'm just going to duplicate this one so that now we have another function which is copied from the read so this one we're going to just say get user very specific so get user we won't need this data here all we're going to need we won't even need a query we're just going to need a user id so everything remains the same here prepare now we just have to create our query inside here so i'm going to say query is equal to select all from users where user id is equal to uh, user id limit one all right so this is good enough and we can create our array right here like so you can't use that is equal to whatever the user id is supplied here all right then this array here we're going to supply data array there and i think uh, that's about it okay return result and then since we always want to return just a single result so i'm just going to say return the, a zero there so that it returns the very first item so get user user id awesome so that we don't have to be typing uh sqls all the time so let's go back to send message here so at this point down here i need to be able to give it the uh instead of giving it this row i will give it the row of the user that i get so i will say at this point for for every message i need to collect the user individually so i'm going to say uh my user is equal to db get user oh. paste so the user id now is going to come from uh, because this is the message here copy Mm hmm okay so this is the message so the message contains either the sender or the recipient so i'm more interested in the one who sent the message so i'm going to say sender so whoever the sender is the, that will be the user here so we'll copy that and paste it there that alone is going to uh, make things better so uh, let's check it out if anything has changed so let me try here and say uh, testing Oop. Oh, oh. something is happening so let me go to the inspector let's see if there are any errors and of course there are errors oopsie so okay so in order to know the errors as usual i will do that in index alert 
let's go back this annoying alert hey hey okay so there is an error fatal error cannot use object of type class as array on line 63 okay so i must have used uh where is it on line 63 oh i keep forgetting these things very silly errors here so let me go back here and delete that in the index page so i forget that this is an object this data uh, thing here it's not an array so i should do this instead okay that should sort the problem out let's uh, say send oh okay so at least now you can see that the images are different so there's this one who sent these and then there's this one who sent that and you can see the names are also different here which is awesome the only thing now is we have to call a different uh on these this has to be this side so to do that will be quite easy let me refresh this go back here I'll wait to type another message so here all i'm going to say is i'm going to compare is this person me or not so to know if this person is me i'm just going to compare my own user id which is in the session here so come down here and say where is this Ooh. when i'm choosing which of these to to actually show so i'm going to say if that user ID is equal to uh, this one, the sender. If I am the sender of this one, then like that. Mm -hmm. So if I am the sender, put it on the right. If I am not, send it to the left. So copy that, put it there, and say lift. Awesome. The only thing is I have to update my left uh, because I was simply updating this right hand side, but not this one. So what have I missed here? Actually, it's only this message here. And that's one there. Everything else remains as is. So moment of truth, message, send. Okay, so there we go. So this, these messages here from this other person and these messages from me. So I can type in another message and say, another message from me. Boop. So there we go. So now the thing is, uh, the messages are going down, down, down like this, okay? So this is normal. The only thing is we have to make sure that uh, when we send a message, this thing scrolls up by itself so that we can see the very last message here. Because if I type something like here, um, another one, boom, it goes up like this. So, which means I can't see my messages down here. So, it should scroll down automatically like that. And also, when I type uh, my message here and press enter, it doesn't know to actually send the message, which is annoying. So, in the next video, we're going to fix those cosmetic errors. See you in the next video.